so Fox, CNN, this is the Palestinian Authority, this is the way they kick out Muslims and Christians to go and pray in Jerusalem. This is the Judaization of Jerusalem. Even Jews know this, and they're on our side right now. They're trying to distort the fact. No, 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 no. You were never there. You've never been there. I've been there and seen this happen. This is a mock checkpoint that's been set up by the Students for Justice in Palestine. Um, it's all with actors. Um, we have students dressed up as Israeli soldiers, demonstrating the daily injustices experienced by Palestinians living in the West Bank, who are constantly being harassed by checkpoints, um, and whose freedom of movement is constantly being inhibited. Um, and so we're trying to raise awareness about this uh, as part of the larger framework of Israeli Apartheid Week, uh, which is an international week of action, um, raising awareness about Israeli Apartheid and promoting the international campaign for boycott, divestment, and sanctions against Israel until Israel um, ends its human rights abuses and complies with international law. There's um, hundreds of campuses all over the world who are doing actions for as part of Israeli Apartheid Week. We're out here trying to explain to people that this is really not what checkpoints are all about. Um, these guys are out here being hooligans, blocking traffic on Sproul, yelling, being violent. Um, Israeli checkpoints look nothing like that, but they do exist for a specific reason because there have been hundreds thousands of suicide bombings in Israel over the past decades and that was before the security barrier and checkpoints were set up and as they were set up the amount of suicide attacks in Israel decreased extremely dramatically. Of Palestinian oh, mothers yeah, yeah. have been denied going through checkpoints to go to the hospitals to give birth. This is a fact. No, this is not distortion. Please they go look it up. Oh, yeah. The people protesting, as far as I can tell, like belong to uh, one of the student groups called Tikva, Students for Israel on campus, and maybe a few other, uh, you know, you know pro-Israeli policy groups. The nature of their protest, I guess, is basically just trying to say none of this is true. And I guess what I would say to, to people who aren't that informed about it is, you don't have to take my word for it or, or her word. You can look to, you know, reputable, impartial third-party sources that sort of specialize in this kind of stuff, specialize in looking at human rights issues, like, uh, you know, the United Nations or Amnesty International or Human Rights Watch or Israeli uh, NGOs. They've documented the, the the rights deprivations that Palestinians suffer at checkpoints uh, extensively. I'm just coming at this from a, a human rights issue. Like I, I went there, I saw sort of what happened um, with my own eyes. I've read some of the human rights reports from the you know the, the groups I just mentioned. The way that they portray them and, and the caricature that they make of Israeli soldiers is not accurate. That it's a fictionalization of what it's really like. You know, unfortunately, checkpoints are necessary because Israel needs to protect its civilians. But it doesn't mean that they're, they're a good thing. It doesn't mean that there's something that Israel wants to maintain. And it doesn't mean that the the Israel Israelis who um, who man them are sick and, and want to hurt Palestinians. This is sort of a, a prime example of the type of uh, inflammatory and uh, harassing uh, events that SJP does. Uh, in the past, myself and my friends have been uh, spat at, have been called names. Basically, the point of our case is that the university is turning a blind eye to the fact that students are being harassed on their own campus. The content of that message is simple. It's like, we think there should be equality um, for Palestinians and Israelis both, and currently the Israeli government is not providing that, and so we, we oppose our, our government support of them until they end the occupation in their discriminatory system of, of laws.